Good morning, everyone. So I'm presenting here a, a, a fact sheet related with performance indicators for road bridges. This is a work developed with two more colleagues, Anna Mandik and Alfred Strauss. Um, so as an overview of this presentation, I will try to, <laughs> to explain how performance indicators and performance goals, they are uh, framed and they interact. Uh, then uh, our performance indicators are clustered and categorized. I should say that this work is highly related with other cost action that is ongoing, and mm -hmm. Professor Roncas was presented yesterday. <laughs> and uh, this is a work that is still ongoing, and um, the database is still under progress. Then I will try to link this with damage assessment, and finally uh, explain what are the further steps in this structure. So basically, the idea <laughs> and suggested in this fact sheet is that performance indicators and performance goals should be framed in, in, this, in this structure. So we have two columns. So the first one with the performance indicators and the second one, the perform performance goals, <laughs> which they are interconnected. And uh, uh, they are, <laughs> let's say, the performance indicators are um, grouped in different uh, indicators related to the technical indicators, sustainable indicators, and socioeconomic indicators. On the other side, we can look to this framework as uh, divided in three levels, so at the component level, system level, and the network level. So regarding these levels, uh, at the component level, uh, the inspections are mainly carried out by components and formed by three main subsystems, so the substructure, as presented on the left, the superstructure, and the roadway and the equipments. Uh, regarding the, the second level, the system level, mm -hmm. the importance of the component, uh, it's important to evaluate the impact, to, the impact to the entire structure. And this is mainly suggested to do in three main criteria, the structural safety, traffic safety, and durability criteria. And finally, <laughs> at the natural level, what is most important is try to prioritize the repairing, uh, repair ranking based on the bridge importance in the network, uh, uh, mainly based in five criteria, the road category, annual average daily traffic, the tour distance, largest span, and the total length. On the other hand, also uh, related to the bridge condition assessment, which is uh, based on four criteria, the structural safety and stability, traffic safety, durability, and the general bridge condition. So looking in another perspective, um, it is also important to try to cluster these performance indicators so it becomes more easily to identify their origin, methods and procedures for their revealing and quantification, and level and extent of their influence to a certain structural performance type. For example, related to the damage assessment. Normally this implies <laughs> a procedure that is related with the damage detection, uh, damage identification, evaluation of the damage and damage thresholds, and finally the damage assessment. Concerning the damage detection, um, this can be uh, conducted mainly by four uh, options, visual inspection, non-destructive testing, probing, and structural monitoring techniques. So giving an example of a damage categorization, what we present in this table is that we can <laughs> group the damage type by characteristics, try to identify a damage indicator for each damage type, a damage detection, a damage threshold, and a damage evaluation. Under the scope of this cost action, what we are aiming is try to <laughs> based on this uh, categorization, identify the performance indicators that might be detected, evaluated, and possibly quantified with available SHM technologies. For example, for the deflections, we could try to monitor the deflection a long time based on a monitoring system. Uh, for example, uh, we based on the pipes, pipe water systems or uh, uh, video or other options. So, but this is, as I said in the beginning, ongoing, and we are trying to go to the further step, which is identifying those technologies to support these uh, assessments. So finally, <laughs> as further steps, 
uh, an overview of progress indicators in the bridge management domain was made. And uh, we want to identify all performance indicators that might be detected, evaluated, and possibly quantified with available SHM technologies. And uh, also to extend their application to the performance and assessment of structures in general. Um, quantify relations between indicators and levels of their contribution to a certain structural performance assessment as well. Um, and uh, also something that uh, it's, uh, we give special attention to these factors is trying to uh, make a survey on research-based performance indicators, mainly those that may be put in practice and those in whose at least development is worth investing. And finally, uh, improving existing structural performance assessment methods under this framework. Thank you very much for your attention. Yep, thank you very much.